I've got a lovely recipe for salmon and it's a Cajun spice salmon. It's really quick to cook and I'm going to show you a lovely kind of pesto infused uh, pea puree which is absolutely gorgeous with any kind of fish or meat. It really is gorgeous. So I'm going to get my pea puree on first. I'm using frozen peas. I'm going to use uh, some whipping cream or you could use some creme fraiche, whatever you want to. So roughly about a quarter of a pint goes in there. And then I'm going to flavour it with this really nice fresh basil pesto. I love this part of the Simply Better Italian collection. We always have this. And this is actually lovely if you um, toast some sourdough bread, smear some of that over your lovely sourdough bread, and then a little bit of the Iberico ham or Parma ham at room temperature. It is such a beautiful, beautiful snack treat. It's beautiful. So I'm going to put a spoonful of this, and this is really nice, just mixed in, put into. Uh, it's mi lovely mixed with some pasta. So cook up a little bit of uh, pasta in that and must be kept in the fridge. So we're just going to bring that to the boil. I'll just get a spoon. We're going to put a pinch of salt into it. And then our peas, frozen peas, absolutely perfect for this. So you just stir this. And then this is just going to take a few minutes to uh, cook out. The beautiful thing about this puree, we'll blend it in a few minutes, is that it will uh, keep really well in your fridge. So it will, and you can just warm it through. So that goes in the frozen peas. I always find it's a little bit easier. You can cook them straight from the freezer if you want to. I just have these defrosted because I just think for the video, it'll just speed up the whole process. Okay, for our salmon, <clears throat> we're going to talk about that in a minute. We're using some beautiful Clare Island salmon. And we're going to use some of this lovely Irish rapeseed oil. So we are. So I really like this for uh, cooking the salmon. Get a nice high smoke temperature and it's a really lovely oil. It's kind of like an everyday oil. So it is. So this is our organic Irish salmon, Darren's they're called. So the skin is on but there's no bones. So they're all organic and that's what you're looking for, the certification, little logo there. And uh, they're from Clare Island. So this is it all ready to go. But what we're going to do is we're going to dust up this really nice spice. So this is a Cajun seasoning nice bit of a kick to it but it's a really lovely product so it's an irish company who blend uh, all these lovely spices and they're called oco and i really admire them i think their spices are wonderful so what i'll do just to make it easier and just to show you i'm just going to sprinkle some onto the plate and then what we'll do is we'll coat the salmon with this so we will so get the pan nice and hot we're going to have a little look just at our pea puree which is coming nicely to the boil just give it a stir it doesn't take long to cook it all. I already put salt and I'll just finish it with a cube of butter. So when you're cooking any kind of fish, uh, room temperature, take it out for about maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, room temperature and then a good hot pan because it cooks really, really, really fast. So it does. Now I will put some uh, butter because I love the flavour of the butter and then the rapeseed oil will stop the butter from burning. So we're just going to get our salmon and we're just going to literally just press that or we're going to press this all over. Okay, so both sides of the salmon. Now you just give it a little shake so you can shake any excess off and then this is going to go onto the pan. So you hear that sizzle. So we'll do another wee bit. A wee bit more seasoning here. Now you can use some of the harissa spice or some of the curry spice because it adds lovely flavour so it does onto your fish. You can actually do this with some white fish too but it particularly works really well with the salmon. Now it doesn't mean you're going to eat the skin which you can by the way but what the skin does with fish, it kind of gets it nice and crispy, gives lovely flavour and holds it all together. Now, that's perfect. So we'll move that out of the way. So good hot pan, flip it down. And then what we're going to do is just really focus on cooking the fish. So we'll add in the butter in a minute. Just want to have a little look just if you can see that there, that it doesn't catch and burn on you, which can, sorry Mella, I'll flip that. So you just need to be very careful of that. So you need to reduce the heat of the pan. Now this would be great on a barbecue if we have the weather, hopefully. I'm going to put some butter in here. I'm going to put one piece of butter either side. That's two kind of cubes of butter. So we're going to cook this now. Um, I've turned down the heat. That's really important. If the pan is too hot, it will burn the spices. And you know, there's nothing worse than if you burn the spices. It, it's just not pleasant to eat. So I'm going to flip this over. And you can see that lovely color coming through onto the actual fish. See that there? That beautiful color. Brilliant, Bella. Thank you. So flip this over here. So salmon is actually one of the most popular fish. You could do this with sea trout. You could do this with monkfish. You could do this with lots of different fish, but make sure it's the organic Irish salmon that you're using. Now, I've moved it onto a lower ring. 
I'm going to let this cook and I'm going to keep turning it and then every so often what I just do is just literally stir the pea puree. So you're just reducing the cream. The peas don't take long to cook at all. We're going to put in one cube this time of the butter and then just stir this through. And you know what's really good in this? You can put in some fresh mint if you want to. Not everyone likes pesto. I love it. You've seen me using it in lots of the videos and I just love that lovely fresh uh, pesto. So I do. There's something about Italian basil, I have to say, like we have beautiful Irish basil here, which is gorgeous, but it must be the intensity of the sun that gives it the most amazing flavor. If you didn't want to use cream, you could use half cream or you could use half milk or you could use creme fraiche if you want that. That would be all perfect. Uh, I like to use cream and I mean like my, my take on cream and butter is everything in moderation, including moderation. Now we are going to put a little squeeze of lemon just onto the fish and we want to cook it until it's slightly just slightly little bit of pink in the center but that it's not overcooked so can you see the technique i moved it onto a lower ring and i'm turning that and you get that beautiful golden kind of crust and that lovely flavor and um, there's sea salt in this and if we look at the ingredients becamella i'll just put the lid on and we can just go through it there so you have your spices paprika black pepper mustard cumin you've caraway chili powder and then you have thyme oregano onion powder garlic sea salt so there is salt in this already you could marinate this for about maybe 20 minutes and a little bit of oil really good with chicken actually this spice is really really lovely with chicken yeah i'm really happy at that so i'm going to now flip it over and i'm going to put it skin side down so lower the ring a little squeeze of lemon juice in a minute and what I'm going to do, the easiest way, now you can hand blend this. I have a little mini chopper, which is a great little thing. Some of you may have a Nutribullet. It'll all work absolutely perfect for making your pea puree. So this won't all fit in. So I'll probably do it in two batches, but I'll just do enough for one serving just to show you. So your peas go in there. We put in the butter. We put in the, um, the salt and the pesto. That lovely basil pesto. So the lid goes on here. A little bit noisy, excuse me. We'll have a little look in here, Mella. That's looking nice. If you want it a little bit drier, you can uh, just put it onto the pan. Just keep that blend in there. And I'm flipping over the salmon again. Normally when we do a pea puree in the restaurant, we do it exactly like this and then we pass it through a sieve. So you get a really smooth velvety pea puree and it's really good with lamb, I should have said that. So just flip this over here. I just think the color of this is absolutely fantastic. I think these are the best spices that you can use. I just really admire this company. It's all organic. I went up to visit them in that loan and they're just fantastic. So a little squeeze of lemon. So how do we test when our fish is cooked? You press the center of it. So it's a little bit kind of spongy, okay? So it won't be raw, but it'll be just slightly a little bit kind of like pink in the center. There's nothing worse than if you overcook fish, it dries out. So I'll just flip this over now and it'll continue to cook away. And a little touch of lemon at the very end. No, I'm very happy with that. It looks great. Okay, pea puree done. Serve it with rice, salad, whichever you prefer. I have some rice here. And I'll just switch off that. So normally when we cook rice, you see me doing it in quite a few of the videos, I usually get a little bit of um, a vegetable or chicken stock cube. And then what I do is put some water, a little bit of butter, and just a pinch of salt. And this is the basmati rice that I'm using for this. So just a spoonful of rice, but we're just gonna put it into this little kind of pudding dish here. Just press that just with the back of the spoon. So it's lovely and light. This is not a, a very heavy dish. You know, that on its own with salad is so good. So just get your plate, turn it up, and then just literally just unmold it like that. It's just a little bit kind of, you could say chefy, but it just it's just nice rather than spoon it. It's not gonna taste any difference if, if you spoon it. So the next thing I think we'll do is we'll get our nice pea puree. Uh, the salmon's ready, okay? So just the pea puree, just give it one last blend. And I can smell, of course, the peas, but I can also smell that lovely uh, basil pesto. So I'll just get a spoon and then we just literally spoon this just to the side. 
So a couple of little spoonfuls of this. Now if you want it really, really fine, you would pass it through a sieve. But I like a little bit of texture. And there goes my rice. After me putting it in the bowl, the is laughing. Okay, so lift up our salmon. Arrange that. I think one of those little pieces of salmon, we need a little bit more of the puree. And then a little bit of sprig of basil. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It's not a very um, complicated recipe. I think it's a very simple recipe. I just love fresh basil like that, that you can just pick and use and enjoy, and then just finish it with a tiny little drizzle of some olive oil. Just a little drizzle there. And there we go. So that's a very, very simple Cajun um, spiced salmon. And we're using that really nice, simply better organic Irish salmon darns that come two in a pack like that. It gives you the whole story from Clare Island. A little bit of steamed rice and then that lovely pea puree. That is so good with lots of different meats, even lamb. It works really, really well. I think the key personally is that basil pesto. And as I said, if you don't use the basil pesto, a couple of little sprigs of mint, it's so delicious. So enjoy this very simple and quick recipe. That's my lovely Cajun spice salmon.